All right, all right, all right, fine, I'll do it. This is an old trailer, by the way. A very old trailer. I can't wait to kill this fruit fly, man. It's pissing me off. It's an old trailer. It's the Captain America and uh, T'Challa trailer. I don't know who on the planet asked these guys for a Black Panther and Captain America game or a Black Panther and sidekick and Captain America and sidekick game. If you ask a lot of T'Challa fans who are also gamers and who have played God of War. Like if you ask a specific group of people who have also played Devil May Cry, Ghost of Tsushima, Ninja Gaiden Sigma, and have also played um, Sekiro and are currently playing or finished playing Black Myth Wukong. I'm assuming these people, all of them, some of them, or most of them will tell you they want a special, unique game. Desi uh, it's not that only, is it designated? We want to see a, a T'Challa only game. I don't want to see a T'Challa with T'Challa and Black Panther with, with there's no sidekick nonsense. Damn! I'm about to lose my shit. Yeah. It's just baffling how things are done these days. Um, I keep hearing people say uh, it's all about money and they want to make, if you want to make money, make, make the thing awesome. Make the thing awesome and your money will come. In fact, your money is waiting for you to make the thing awesome so it can pour on you. Now, I don't want to crap on people's ideas because to someone, a two player character or two, play, two player character game such as this game, Black Panther and Captain America, is someone's dream come true. I don't know if it's all of our dreams come true. Those of us who love games and, and who love the games I mentioned and have played the games I mentioned. I want to see a unique experience tailor made for T'Challa. I feel that that that, that is something that's going to be um challenging and tasking to make but will be worth the while because you are you going to put him in the jungle you're going to put him in a forest you're going to put him in, in wakanda and if you do that you got to make wakanda look beautiful maybe make some areas accessible maybe have um shuri have his his parents or his parents passed away what age are we talking about with, with t'challa so he's in he's in our king meaning um mama and papa are gone who are you casting if, you, if you're not going to do it and do it properly, don't do it at all or don't do it half-assed. Don't jump in there and say, let's let's put T'Challa here and also Captain America or Falcon. It'd be cool to have a Falcon only game. It'd be cool to also have a Captain America only game. Yeah. If you guys want to get sexy with it, it'd be cool to have a Captain America um, Isaiah Washington version only game before um, Steve Rogers came into, into play. Uh -huh. These days, I'm not even excited for certain games anymore. Hey. A lot of my friends send me videos of certain products upcoming and whatnot. I'm like, I don't care. What? I miss the good old days when you could play a demo, to test a game to see if you were going to like a game. Sometimes I can watch a video and be like, that's my game. I'm going to buy that on release. I'm going to pre-order now and buy it. You know, I'm looking forward to getting it. Whereas certain games I can look at them for me and be like, mm, it's not for me. It wasn't built for people like me. And there's no excitement. There's no joy. There's no like, ooh. That's it right there. They made that for me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This one, when it was announced and I saw the, I saw a clip of the trailer and the only part I caught was Black Panther. Then when the camera zoomed out, I saw two other characters like, wait, what? Why would you put, why would you do? It's like you're teasing your audience. There's a lot of people who want to play a Captain America only game and a Black Panther only game. And someone thought it'd be cool to put them together. You might as well throw in Captain America and Wolverine. What? Even though we know or we're aware of that, um, active is Activision? No, not active. Insomniac is currently working on a Wolverine game. I imagine someone had said that. Imagine if Insomniac had announced that they're working on Wolverine and Storm game. Some people be like, that sounds cool. But if you want to be honest, we'd rather you give us these two games separately. Take time. Cool. Take time so you can put all your resources into focusing on the main character and the environment, the way he interacts with the world, the way he interacts with certain objects and other characters as well, rather than putting two characters and then sidekicks. Anyway, rant over. Let me let me, let me see what they got. I, I, I didn't watch this full trailer from beginning to end. I just caught clips of it. They're combing the streets. 
searching house to house. I mean, the scenery looks they good. You too. They will take you to their headquarters, and you will not return. I'm more concerned with a six-foot cat man who's got claws that can cut through vibranium alloy. Voice doesn't seem like it matches. By my count, that makes two super soldiers loose in Paris. Three, counting you. And that's two too many. You see all this stuff, you're thinking, yeah, I want to play as Cap only. I'll be there before the sun rises. Before the Germans, before that. In his face, yo, the mocap, I don't know about that, man. This fruit fly? Oh my god. You are dead, son. When I catch you settling, you're dead. Damn, son! Let me see if I can go back and catch, catch a good screenshot of him. I think the voice of it was pretty cool, I think. I'll be there before the sun rises. Before the Germans, before that American. Nah, it doesn't look like T'Challa. It doesn't feel like T'Challa to me. And n not just because we've seen Chadwick Boseman. There's something about his face that doesn't feel like a T'Challa. Come on, don't bullshit me. But then again, some other people probably, probably saw it and thought, yeah, he feels like T'Challa to me. Just like the, 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 other, the guy they've used for Captain America's face, he doesn't feel like Captain America. I'm not saying use Chris Evans' face, but at least, you know what? And leave it alone. To each their own, we all have different tastes and preferences. American. The Eye of Force has been found. Please, just stick to the rooftops. Be careful, stand wasami. When am I not? No, it doesn't feel like him. It's better if I tackle this one alone. You may encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. Is he left-handed? All oh, right, my bad. Where's your answer? Our cat friend is definitely here too. By the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. Who the hell are you? If you wanted us dead, we'd be dead. So what do you want? Answers. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stand aside! I do not take orders from anyone! I don't have time. Yeah, he's moving for this. different. Neither do I. I guess. It was called 1943. That's the name of the game. Interesting title to give a game that's featuring both Black Panther and Captain America. Oh, I was right then. So it's. I haven't even seen anything for it yet. They, they might do a Christmas. I don't know. I don't think they're gonna do a Halloween thing. They might do a Christmas thing where they show show gameplay footage. It might win me over, but as for now, no, I'm not gonna spend my money on this. This is this is not what I had in mind or hoped for when it came to someone or company or developer saying we're working on a Black Panther game or Captain America game. It'd be cool to live in a world where you have both games, not both characters playable in a game. It, arguably, you could say. That's what some people want. No. Here we go. Because the resources you would have to, you'd have, you'd have to split your resources. You'd have to focus. Basically, if you, if you're saying we're playing the Black Panther game, T'Challa or T'Chaka, right? He's on a mission to retrieve some vibranium that was stolen from Wakanda. That's how you can get away with not featuring Wakanda as a playable location or maybe a part of Wakanda. So it's uh, it's the weapon room or the throne room or the shrine or the altar room or something. So you, that way you're saying this is when the main character is leaving Wakanda. So we're, we're not getting to interact with all of Wakanda. You, you can get away with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You want to put your main resources into what you're familiar with and what you're used to. Space can be done differently. Star Wars, same thing. Other planets, same thing. But when you're doing Wakanda, you might pull in some references, not only from the comics, but from the movie. And it'd be wise to do it as rich as possible. So that way, when the players are playing the game, they feel like they're in Wakanda. Especially for those of us who've seen the first Black Panther movie, it's seared in the brains of the viewers. So those who are, will come in to play the game will have an idea of visual reference based on the movie. For some, it's based off the comics. For some, it's based off the Black Panther cartoon. But still, they'll, they'll be 
it's a combination of these different pieces together where they might judge it and say if it doesn't look like this feel like this doesn't have these things in it doesn't have these elements in the game then it doesn't feel like wakanda so again just like assassin's creed if you want to feature your characters in a particular world then you're going to put your resources in that world so if, if the story is mainly in wakanda then go for it but if you're doing it in familiar locations the city paris uh, I don't know, Italy and Spain, all these areas, then you can get away with it. You can you can get away with that because uh, I, I assume all the uh, city models and whatnot, or however way games are generated, it, it's like you're pulling from used archives already. Whereas with Wakanda, it's from ground up. You're, you're having to build that from ground up, pulling references again from the comics and the movies, and then doing your own rendition of what you feel Wakanda will look like in your story. Again, if it's if you're doing a T'Chaka story, then Wakanda is going to look different because it's coming from the past. If you're doing a T'Challa story, how far into the future are you doing it or how early in T'Challa's um, reign or run as Black Panther are you doing the story? So those things is what you factor in. But to have to work on that or we're not doing um, Wakanda, for example, the, the, the game is based off of um, T'Challa Oh, is this T'Chaka? I can't even tell. Following Black Panther and following this mission and whatnot. So I know it's in um, Europe. Fine. But at the same time, I just prefer the resources are focused on one character only so we can see skills. Because if you're switching characters now, that means you have to build two separate um, accessibility lists and options and character animations. And you want to make it feel as unique as possible for both characters. If they can pull it off, then who am I to complain? Who am I to even sit here and do this, do this video? But just following the track record of certain games recently, a lot of companies tout that they can pull off certain things that some of us haven't asked for. But they'll jump on board and announce it, get people excited, game is released, graphics is downgraded, it's sluggish, it's this, it's that, frame, is, frame rate is breaking, yada, yada, yada day one patch it's just the same old rinse and repeat nonsense so i'm not i'm bored of that um, but outlaw star wars whatever thing i was looking forward to a star wars game that wasn't um helmed by a main jedi character for once i thought okay let's get someone who's a bounty hunter or has a lightsaber and she can use the force i mean sorry not lightsaber my bad has weapons and doesn't wield a lightsaber and maybe she has gadgets and tools it's like, it's, I don't know why it's hard for companies to do this, man. I don't know why it's hard. Just do a Mandalorian-esque kind of game or even do a Mandalorian game. No lightsaber, no Jedi powers, but just gadgets, tools, skills and abilities. Gadgets you can upgrade, skill trees you can upgrade, bounty hunting, being hunted as well as a bounty hunter. You can do it, man. You can freaking do it. But instead, the Star Wars Outlaw, whatever game it is, came out and people just crapped on it. Rightfully so. Ubisoft, yo, these guys have a special thing going where they would just talk the, the most nonsense. What? Hyping themselves and then release a lackluster game. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Does not compute. Does not compute. Do you know what it is to be known for a company that you can't trust as a game developer company? when it comes to certain friends, it's, it, it is painful. And there are a lot of us waiting to say, please, we will shower you with money. Make the correct game. Who the hell am I? You keep digging. Make it like this. We'll give you references. If it looks like this, feels like this, kind of like this, but step it up, improve it here and there. We'll give suggestions. Mba. At this point, maybe um, um, Sony and all the other the, the uh, shareholders and whatnot need to be coming to the to the players and asking for our ideas. It's like a crowdfunding thing, but they approach us. So what, what do y'all want? What do y'all want to see in the game? We'll give them a list, do it properly. Since you are thirsty for this money, since God is your money, I mean, your money is God. <laughs> you got me saying it backwards. The only thing you worship is, is money. If you want it, do it correctly. It's just a simple motto. You want it bad, right? You're thirsty for it, do it correctly. Instead, it's just this mess around nonsense of rinse and repeat. That game should have made a lot of money. What? Everyone should have been playing that game. Everybody should have reviewed the heaven out of that Star Wars Outlaw game. Instead, they're, they're cussing down the, the graphics, the mo motion capture thing. So much is going on behind. At, at least, thankfully, a lot of people have praised the um the Black Myth Wukong game. At least. Ah! A whole 
12 months in a year. And I can't say I bought four games, maybe Spider-Man 2. That was cool, but it's Spider-Man. It's, it's like a no brainer. But a unique IP, there's another one Ubisoft was working on where you could jump from planet to planet. I, right now, not even right now, in fact, I don't feel Ubisoft or Ubisoft can produce any epic game anymore I don't, I, I, at all. And I'm, I'm glad I've not spent money on them since Assassin's Creed Origins. I've not spent any money, any dime on their games at all. That was the best Assassin's Creed for me, especially after Ezio's, Ezio's run. So that, that whole take a break and do a refresh, awesome. Odyssey came out, I tried that one, that was trash. Valhalla came out, I, I think I tried that, I don't, did I? No, I think I'd, I'd chosen not to mess with Ubisoft anymore after Odyssey. But as, as it stands now, I do not care for any game that is coming out. You can announce it, it can sound sweet, it can sound sexy, I will not partake in any Ubisoft game anymore at all at all they don't care they do not care and i don't know what gaming is turning into now man i don't know very soon they're going to be upgrading their consoles every year so gaming is no longer the story the excitement the the graphics the the uh, uh functionality the the accessibility the responsiveness the fun and excitement the playing the play factor of games play to play a game it's like things are changing so much that the, the joy is being snuffed out of it, man. And this one is coming out 2025. Again, no, no zeal. And these guys will push new trailers and whatnot. I hope there are a lot of people out there who are like, the trailer thing is dead. You can show us a one minute trailer at a showcase or at a show run on E3. What we need to see is 10 minutes gameplay. If there's no gameplay whatsoever, eight minutes, five minutes, what's the point? Ah trailer doesn't do nothing because we want to see how it looks when someone is playing the game especially for those of us who haven't saved up enough money to go to any e3 shows or any um 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 excel shows in any country or any state or any city we're like you know what other things going on in our lives but i would like to buy that game when it comes out the only way i can enjoy it is based on how things are running right now is to watch a freaking trailer um um uh what do you call it review or a gameplay breakdown so maybe we as the consumers and the gamers as well we need to start saying yo again you guys want the money make great games and secondly include some demos how are people supposed to have a feel of the game especially when someone can't buy a ticket to go to no e3 show and whatnot or go and even what's the guarantee that when you go to go to the e3 shows you're on the floor you will get time to play the games at the booths or whatever so since, since there's no guarantee, I don't know if there is or is, and no one has money to pay for a ticket to then pay to fly to a different country, if you're not in the US, to then book your thing in advance. No, 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 no. So cut the bullshit. A demo should be a standard thing for all games or all AAA games that are being touted as this is the next best thing. Cool. Let me see the demo because your talking is one thing. Showing is, not, is another thing, but we playing it. Then we can be like what you showed us and what you said they all match. But what you showed us and what you said don't match with how it feels when we're playing it. Get this man shit. You can say it's a beta build, zeta build, alpha build, omega build, uh, blacker build, wider build, cuckoo build, whatever you want to call it. Does it feel as good as you've touted it to be and as you've shown it to be? It's like gaming is a new scam now. You show these lights and bright colors and jumping animation in, 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 it's like watching a movie. And then when you when the the full game is is released, it feels different and looks completely different from the trailer. Why does your trailer look different from the game itself? Damn, son. That should be another thing as well. The game trailer should use the in graphics of the game. Don't spice it up with no special 4K, 8K, or megaton ray tracing, tracing ray and ray eating and ray 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 uh, sandwich making and, 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 and ray pizza eating. No, 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 no. Don't nobody care about that. Maybe some people do. The regular folk who buy games want to enjoy the experience. It makes sense that your trailer graphics is the exact same as your in-game graphics, exact same as the cutscene in your game. No special treatment need is needed. All you're doing is giving us a hint as a, 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 to what's going to happen in your game and the story. The main crux of the, of the game itself is when we're playing it, how it looks and how we feel and how the game feels when we're playing it. Instead, you're actually doing all these special graphics. Look how cool this looks. There's no way 
the game is going to look exactly as it is in the trailer. There's no way. There is no way. They will tell you it's 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 the the, the new console is going to run this and run that and run and yet the game will never look as crisp as the trailer looked in this game. Meaning every scene, every scene will never look as good as this trailer does. So what's the point in showing us the special trailers when your games don't look like this at all? I like this one. Why should I buy a game where I have to put it on one special mode to, to make it look one way, one special mode to make it feel one way? If you're selling these consoles at an arm and a leg price, then your console should do both both things together at once or don't bother selling those aspects in your console as long as it runs smooth no jittering no snapping what and don't don't show 10k trailers and then sell 1080p 1080p games thank you so much you can show a 1080p trailer made for a 1080p game nothing wrong with that nice as long as your game runs smooth and the console you're putting the game on will make it run smooth don't do no new console slim new console slim it what's the, anyway i'm out i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done you can tell i'm clearly pissed off i was going to do a separate video as well for the ps5 um, pro thing but i don't even know if i want to bother doing that one i think i will i think i will anyway let me know in the comments who's excited for this nonsense it looks cool if this was a, a show i'm down for it if this was a series, I'm down for it. If this is a cartoon, a, a full-on um, cartoon animation series or CGI movie, whatever it is, I'm down for it. Because as it stands now, I don't know how you can pull off a uh, Captain America and T'Challa movie in Marvel. So if Marvel had, had made this an, an official thing as a CGI movie, I'm cool with it. You don't understand. And I've not seen anything, meaning they themselves haven't even promoted anything to keep us engaged, just to remind us, hey, by the way, we announced this game. It's still coming out in 2025. Or is it canceled? Is, is it scrapped? I'm surprised no one even made any noise about the the, the um, character model for um, T'Challa and or the Black Panther character in Captain America. Damn, son. If you had said we're, we're playing the game or we're getting the game based on the Dora Milaje, oh, now we're talking. That's creative. That's different. No one's no one is, is kind of expecting that. Now that I would place the same thing, just like when people are saying um, they're looking forward to a Wonder Woman game. That one, you need time and resources and hold your tongue. You ain't got to announce things early when we have no no screenshots, official stuff. So just shut up, shut up, get your engine set, get your game world created, and then you can announce. Okay, we're we're halfway there we can let the world know what's popping the dormal larger game would work i can see that working different tools different weapons different gadgets yeah for sure i can see that you know paying off nicely oh this is gonna be good i'm done i have been your one and only host the cosmic jedi signing out mm -hmm. thank you for watching